I wonder if uh, Brother Rogers waits me in these ones here. Probably. Yeah, probably. He said he did what, 17 rides? Seven. Oh, okay. Not 17. No, that, that's. Well, they've come in, came in and ate a little bit of it. it looks like they're pooping it. No. Okay, well, set it up here. Just be careful when you do that. You just smash a whole bunch of them. Not a lot. I'm gonna mess with you. So I'm just gonna search one more time for a queen before we take out a frame and put uh, the, and as normal, all our stuff that is needed is somewhere around here. We need to get our own little clip. That's a pretty tight frame. We were gonna. Mom, no, that's not it. That's not. We were gonna put a second layer on and then you bring an eight frame. Yeah, but uh, we don't have those ready. No, we don't. We'll do that Saturday when we come out to feed them. Okay. Well, we can't. We have to let the queen kind of rest in there, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll just come out and feed, and then next time we come out, which will be a week, it should be done. This is the frame we found the queen on last time. I think what we might do, since that's a foundation, as you can't put the queen on there. Yeah, but it's the only frame with enough brood to really do anything with. Okay. To put a queen on. So what we're going to probably do is open up the next hive over and just grab another brood frame from it. Mm -hmm. Place it with this brood frame. Okay. And is that a queen cell right here? Uh, it might be. Just take it out just in case. Yeah. Looks like it. It was empty. Good. That's what you really want to see, an empty... Uh, ...queen-like cell. Okay, nothing there. have a few queen cells. Nothing in them. So that just, means we should be, yeah, we should, they should be without a queen. Yes. That means they're most likely queenless. And even though it's only been one day, they still have found a way to make two queen cells. Which is good and bad. Well, it's good that they have enough uh, bees to do that. And it's actually good that there's no queen. Ooh. 
this is a foundation with a bunch of brood and some honey. Okay, that's the one we take. Yep, and this is the one we take. I don't know why this is on the very outside, but we'll move this one. Oh, careful, careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, look, that bee is going all the way into the hole to grab honey. Oh, nice. Okay, finish brushing it off and let's go. Careful. That's just a little bit of honey. I know, your mom has to stay careful. Mm. And actually, oh yeah, this is foundation. And you don't want to do them on foundation list since they can eat through the wax and uh... What we are going to do is with this, we're going to set it off to the side. So what we want is an area with an, a little bit of rune with uh, some... Uh, empty cells and a little bit of honey and we have that perfectly here within a good uh, small area so we're going to first place this and push it down very slowly and then take it off um, and open up the queen thing. I have a lady on me. Oh. Yep. There's going to be a few ladies in here. I'm going to tip her over on her side. No, they should be fine. Hey. Now, hopefully this time we do not, uh, we might want to put it in a little bit closer, the camera. So, this time, um, let's try not to get the, um, I'll let the queen get away. The queen is still in there. She should be one of the last ones to get out. Once she is out and on to a safe place on the... Uh, on the uh, foundation, we want to um, take the uh, wooden box out and push in the cage. As the name of the cage implies. Push in cage. <laughs> so we'll, we're going to have to sit here for a few minutes. And wait, you want me to hold the camera for you, Mom? No, oh, fine. Okay. You're gonna need your hands free once she gets out. Yeah. It's not, not hurrying off. Okay, so we have the queen here, and we want to try and push her into the spot that we got. And now that uh, the queen is in, she doesn't have any workers right now, but um, um, she will, um, the bees in there will, um, the, will probably try to at least feed her a little bit. And, um, Do you want to put her attendance in there? No. Okay. That would be too risky and we might get her around the cabin and it'll take a minute to go. Well, I hope they feed her. They uh, will feed her and they will probably, and these are probably going to be very recent, uh, new, they'll um, come out soon. Okay. They'll be born. Right. So, if you want to take that. Okay. 
Now I will go ahead and keep these bees right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my glove on and we can head out and place her back into the hive. And the reason you want to do this in the a vehicle is uh, so when if the bee escapes, you're not out a few dollars and they don't have to make a new queen. Forty dollars. Thirty, forty, sometimes twenty. Now we will set uh, the queen in there slowly and surely. Who's surely? You. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I can. Why not? Alright. Few of them are still alive. Okay. So we are going to move these guys over. And since they're queenless, they're not very happy. And we are going to put this guy right in the middle here. And there we go. Mm -hmm. So he is in there. He is uh, still walking around. He still has room for more bees. And uh, hopefully we didn't squish too many bees in that process. I hope so too. Now um, we are going to go ahead and close the hive up with a little bit of smoke. Jacob did an amazing job today. As we both had a full day of school and other things going on and it's a busy day and he's still got young men. So um, he's been a really positive young man tonight and he did an excellent job yep. explaining this to you. Yeah, like a raccoon or a bunny or something came out and ate him? Probably. Let's see. This hive first. They still have some sugar in there. Yeah, you just pour some sugar. They ate quite a bit. Look at that. They yeah. did pretty good. Hmm. It's stuck on there. That's good. I don't have a hive. I can get this off. Mm -hmm. That'll be it. Wow, it's a little bit stuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's recording. Look. It's a warm day. Yep. No problems with the bees keeping temperature today. That's the other problem with bees keeping temperature. Now let's get the smoke closed and smoke them a little well, bit. Well, before you let the queen out, don't you want to put them in the new hive? Yes. Okay. That'll be the easiest way to do it. Before we do that, I'm gonna we're gonna have to set them like up here. Okay. I'm actually gonna. This is a one-person job since it's uh, oh yeah. See, look at all that new comb. They were begging for a brand new box. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll like it. Yep. Let's set this down first. Got it? Yep. Got down. I'm actually going to... So they went inside. Oops. 
At least they went a lot further. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, check this hive, make sure the queen's alive first. I think I set that somewhere. I set this. So we're going to check this hive, make sure the queen we put in there last week is alive. So this is um, this hive is uh, the one we're going to upgrade to a 10 frame, or uh, well, an 8 frame. Don't, don't smash them. So, look. Queen's alive. And she's got friends in there. Oh yeah. She's still alive. She has friends. I think you smashed one of them getting it out. And it's like stuck to the... Okay. That wasn't getting them out. That was probably putting them in. Oh. They are not trying to sting her through the... Do the thing. That is a good sign. Because if they were, that would be a bad thing. She is laying in there. Yeah. And there is no... Uh, queen cups on this frame. You want to let her out in there? Yeah, once we get the, I'll the frames in here and, oh, if we got a front thing, but I think we might have another one in the truck, the hybrid reducer. Oh, yeah, I think we've done that before a couple times. Yeah, I think we have one in the truck. So this is a honey frame, pretty much full of honey. That's good. They have a lot of honey. A little bit of it capped, but... Yeah, some pollen. Look, there's some that fell off some of those lights right there. Yeah. Oh, queen cup. Right here. One queen cup. Nothing in it. Let's set that over there, maybe. Nope, it's got a beat on it. Yeah, that's fine. And doesn't look like there's any more queen cups on this frame. I'm gonna set that on the right side. I'm gonna actually uh, not put another one in there yet. So you let the queen out? No, but. It's so we can, uh, because this is five and that is eight, it's not a perfect um, science to. Mm -hmm. It means we have to add okay. oh, foundation. Yeah. So this would be where. There's a pink cup right there. Yeah. Pink cup right here. Ooh, there's some royal jelly. That's a good thing. It's, it means it hasn't been completely finished. And one thing to do with a high fuel, since it's uh, either higher or lower than what they like um, in the outside air, it will make them move. This will go in the middle with the two, we have two brood frames. Actually, three brood frames in this, which is a good thing that they have so many brood, so much brood. And then there is no new. Oh, those are cool. empty anyway but that was a good cup because of its width if it's super wide like this would be uh, 
going through. The width is also a thing to look out for. Doesn't look like there's any. Ooh, sorry, please. Okay. This is good. And then this last frame. It looks like it's honey. The honey frame. This is uh, half of honey, half not, and there is no poon salt on here. And uh, most of these are staying in here to clean up the mess right this second. We'll dump them in here once we get the queen out. We, um, so, Mom, mm -hmm. let's get the camera and show them this part here. Um, okay. I'll grab the camera and then you can hold it while I, that way we can show them a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, Take the frame out, knock a few bees off, uh, set it down here, and take this off. And then what we want to see is make sure that the queen stays in here. So the queen is right here, as you can see. Are they being nice to her? They are not. Um, like going all over her, she's slowly getting more acquainted with it. They're just tending to her. Yep. That's good. Like she got the blue dot. Yeah. Looks like she's laying an egg right now. Okay. And she's got her attendants. I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer because most of these are her attendants that were in there. We want to make sure that um, the hive. Um, like the rest of the hive can come up and kind of, oh, this guy has something stuck, oh, this guy is pretty much dead. Looks like he stung my glove and. Right, we'll make sure your queen doesn't get away and uh, put her back in. She looks fine. They're not uh, trying to attack her too much. There's um, they're kind of tending to her, but leaving her with her personal space. And we are going to set her back in. And be careful when we put this next frame in. And uh, encase her with her. And now, um, this is a five frame and an eight frame so we'll put uh, probably set one of these out to the outside and put a new frame in and that will be all eight frames so this will be all the eight frames and let's um let's get this hive in here you have cameras over here you want to go back yep with the rest of these beans, this will make a lot of, uh, let's just uh, smoke them real fast. That way they uh, kind of try to scatter. They're not as, um, they're more willing to leave their home in here. Dump all these guys out of here and try and get all of them in here. That's um, better than I've done before. Yeah, maybe if you did one more shake there, you'd be good. 
Set it on the ground over there. And then set it on the ground in front of the hive, okay. and we'll pick that up later. Okay. Now we're gonna um, smoke it and put the lid on. Right? Yep, smoke the top and put the lid on. You kind of want to slide it on to uh, make sure that uh -oh. the Together. There we go. And we will just set the top on for right now and uh, we're going to make uh, Do you want to put the sugar water in now? Not right this second. We're gonna now this one we are this one has so many bees we're gonna put it in uh Eight frame. Oh, mom. Put a second frame, eight frame Yeah, a second eight frame. Look at all this. Yeah, they ate it good. Yeah, so. We can do the dry sugar for him. Yes, dry sugar works. Now, um, if it is a drought, you do not want to do dry sugar, but. That's true, huh? Because they won't eat any. Um, but around here. There's so much wild, there's so much water that gets, we're in a farm area, so it's not really a problem. Yeah, they got a field full of water next door right now from irrigation. Yep, our next door, they have a... Uh, oh, this uh, is your so docile hive. This is one of the most docile hives we have. Mm -hmm. Now, like, there, I've opened up the hive. And they're still working, they're still just sitting there. But as you see, there's so many um, things. All of the frames pretty much have bees there. And this is kind of the point where you want to uh, um, exchange the frames. Now, there's a few older frames in, of uh, frames in here, but uh, that should still be fine. And um, so what we're gonna do? You're gonna just set this on top? This is not a super. So uh, to make them and to draw them up, we are going to put like a few of them in uh, up here and a few of those down here. Uh, okay, well how many you want? Two or three? So I'm gonna take one out and um, like okay. take this one right here. Just don't take your queen. Yep. This one here and uh, bring this one. Oh, what? Right here. Make sure you're. Okay. It doesn't really matter. If it the does bottom. because the bottom. There's no bottom on this. You can fall down. Yeah. Yeah. But. Check for your queen. Yeah, we will. And then we're gonna set this one in here. That way, uh, they have a bunch of space to kind of go around and uh, have a lot more um, frames to dry out. Now, these are the only two we're going to do right now. This uh, hive is pretty well off. It doesn't have enough to support a three, uh, two frames. It doesn't have enough bees uh, to support two uh, eight frame boxes. So we're just going to um, now um, make sure not to transfer your queen. That would uh, kind of be bad, especially if you are um, making a. Yep. And uh, especially if you are. 
um, trying to uh, make like um, split the hive. We're not splitting this hive since it's such a good hive and it's not really um, out of control with the numbers it has. Um, like this um, is a very docile hive and it has a lot of workers so and they uh, there's no queen cup so they're still not trying to split but uh, it's good that we're getting them into a uh, all the frames are pretty much drawn out. And uh, they're starting to... There's eight up here, Jacob. So you have an extra one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight, one, one, two, and eight. That's okay. good. Okay. This is an eight frame. It's just it has a lot of space on either side. Okay. Uh, some of them. You could technically fit five frames. It's just it does. It fits very tightly. Yeah, this is eight frames in here, and this will be the last frame we're gonna take out, transfer to the top, and then we're gonna set it back on and let them um, get uh, acquainted with their new home. And uh, that has. Oh, I thought that that's just a little bit of honey. All right, don't forget to, to smoke her uh, before you put her on. Yeah, smoke the. Uh, you can set that in. There. Now, this will. on here. No, I don't see her. I just see a few dead bees. Yeah. Okay. So we have uh, that. And this will now grow and uh, be better. Now, uh, that is all we're going to do today. Oh, besides put the sugar water in there. Yeah, put the sugar water in here and I think with this hive, um, we're going to just fill this, both of them up with sugar water, yeah. And we're going to just leave the sugar in these. They'll, uh, once it gets um, empty, they'll start uh, getting at that. Now, um, we're going to grab the sugar water, and we are going to put a hive reducer or something in front of that to uh, reduce the entrance. Before we go, okay. Yeah, before we go. But first, um, we're gonna fill it up. Mom, you wanna fill it up? Sure. This is the first time Mom's really done a lot here. Oh. Except for record. Uh-huh. Well, so, that's because I can't lift the heavy stuff. Yeah, I, um, but we're gonna try and get Mom to do a few more activities here. Yeah, you're just fine. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go grab, uh, see if we have a hive reducer. Uh,
And uh, this is a uh, entrance reducer. It has like, on one side it has a bigger gap, and on this side it has a smaller. And uh, when you flip them, it makes the smaller and the bigger. I'm gonna put this hive a smaller um, hive entrance. And actually, this hive right here, I'm gonna change oh. it to be Sorry, a bigger. Guys. One because they're kind of uh, crowding up around the entrance. So we're gonna make it uh, bigger. This one has a very big, big entrance. So we're gonna put something there to lock off the rest of it because that's too big of a entrance for them. So we're just gonna, mm -hmm. I think uh, this piece right here should be fine. Here. And we're just gonna block off some of that. Oh, no, that shouldn't that's not working. Um, And that should, and they should have enough bees to protect that entrance. The only reason why we're not making this one a full, um, a bigger one, is because they don't really have too many bees to protect the entrance, and that might uh, hinder what they can do. Actually, that hive has a really big. Entrance. This hive actually had a bigger entrance originally, but. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to put it to the bigger size. I might actually make a bigger entrance for some of these since some of these have a lot of bees. Like this has the most bees here, but uh, these still are a lot more active. Which is weird. This hive doesn't look very active. Yeah, it doesn't look very active either, but there's bees coming in and out, so maybe that's just the... A... I'm actually gonna, just to check it. This isn't Here. our hive, this okay. is Brother Roger, but I'm just gonna open the top, the, not even the inner cover. Yeah, there's a lot of bees. Enough bees to... Oh yeah. Very uh, docile though. Yeah. This hive is actually a uh, first generation, uh, second generation queen. It ha it's, um, I think so. I'm pretty sure this ha has, um, uh, this is half Africanized, half uh, Hawaiian, I think. Um, whereas these two, I think, are Californian, and uh, this is Hawaiian now. We just replaced her. And uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, these will have uh, be both, um, these, this will be completely uh, replaced with the Hawaiian bees. Mm -hmm. 